Welcome to Assisipi. It rained like so much last night and uh, no leaks in the camper so that's good to starting off the year. Although everything right now is wet except for this bench that I'm sitting on which is awesome. I think today we're going to finish uh, playing with our GoPro on the extend amount. Uh, we did a little bit at Rainbow Beach which I'm going to show you some clips on. But uh, one thing we're always playing with is, one, you're not allowed to have drones in lots of the parks around here. So what we end up doing is finding alternate ways to get sort of different uh, aerial shots that, you know, kind of look cool and a little different, but don't actually require the use of a drone. And so here we're at the uh, Provincial Park and we're just going to take some different shots with this and see what we can come up with. It's kind of a concept that I thought of and basically I have a GoPro Max mounted on the end of a 20 foot painter's pole which is and it's pretty stable. Everybody, welcome to our crazy RV. I've been wanting to do this for a while and not paint. Thank you. Not paint. I'm so sick of painting. Yeah. I actually. We, we do have to paint the bedroom though. I'm getting angry holding this in my hand. Just kidding. Okay. So I, I came across the idea that you could mount a, a GoPro adapter on the end of a pole and able to have kind of drone footage but using a painter's pole so you actually don't need a drone you don't need license you don't need anything so i was going to make that and i was going to use this however trying to take this apart uh looked like quite the task and as i was about to start i actually came across this which is in two parts so i can hold one this this is one. And so this is an extension that you put on the end of a painter pole and it allows you to have a paintbrush so you can reach really high places. I, and this, I don't know who would do that. Like how good would that actually work with a paintbrush on the end? Like it would just look horrible. If you use this successfully, you are awesome <laughs> because you it's know the, like, like those paintings in the art museum where people are just <laughs> splashing everywhere that's what it would look that's like exactly what it would look like yeah okay okay so i had that and i saw that and it clued in that i had other pieces that i could attach to this including this and i've been looking on amazon for this and if i come across it i'll link it below but this is part of i it must have been a part of a large kit that i got or else it came with the um, suction mount that goes on our... Oh, yeah. It might have came with the suction mount that goes on, on the windshield. Window? Okay. Um, so I hollowed it out so that it's bigger. Now, I do have a different version here that is just with another adapter, and it's not quite as good. Uh, I much prefer the first one, but I just wanted to show that 
uh, with another one of these adapters. It is possible to do. I don't know how sturdy this one is. I know this first one is very sturdy. Take a walk down the beach. The other beautiful thing about this is that to take this off, you just Unscrew it and it's off. It took like what 10 seconds and we're ready to go to the next location. So you're maybe wondering like why in the world would we bother to look so stupid to, <laughs> to have this giant pole <laughs> around in a campsite. But um, one of the things is in Canada you need to have, uh, you're supposed to have a drone um, pilot's license in order to fly a drone uh, in, in Canada airspace, Canadian airspace, over a certain thing anyways. And a commercial one if you're using it to make money. And I don't have either and I don't really feel like going and getting one. However, I do want to get some cool shots. Plus, if I do something like this, say you're a wedding videographer or something like that, if you use this type of method, you don't need to have the drone insurance of flying a drone over top of hundreds of people. You just have a GoPro on the end of a long stick. So yeah, you look a little funny, but... But, and it's also, you won't lose it. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I might get it stuck in a tree. We'll find out. Waiting for it to connect. Check out the footage. Be better with leaves on the trees. Walking down the avenue where we used to play. The house on the corner is still the same today as it was when we were children. Innocent as innocent can be. I borrowed all your records. Borrowed mine from me We sat and talked for hours In a box hung in a tree And we stole your daddy's last bottle of gin Those were the times Okay, so it wobbles around a lot up there, but with the stabilization, it actually looks pretty smooth. Now, I hope I'm not going to break it, but I'm gonna try running. <laughs> okay. Looking back from here, I can see that we were blind to the burdens we would shoulder and the struggles we would find, but growing me. As strong as strong can be. Walking with my twenty foot pole. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm so cool. 
When we did our first walk around with the 360 at Bead Lake, uh, we had this on the end of a monopod and it was about 10 feet tall. So it'd be similar to this uh, with, like yeah, without it being extended at all. And that worked quite well. Uh, you look at the video, I'll link it up above. It's uh, got quite a few cool shots in it, uh, just going in and around the trees. Did, did anyone just hear a turkey? <laughs> yes, I heard it too. Like it was like... I think one of our neighboring campers has a turkey. I'm sure we heard a peacock today though. <laughs> or Kevin from the movie Up. Oh man. It's like, it like ah! <laughs> no, we were, we were on the bridge and it's like, Wah! oh yeah, Wah! and we're just like, stepping. The There's some things that I have learned about this, and using this just in the little bit that we have played with it, and I know that if you actually spent the time and did, you know, more of this, you could get a lot better at it. Uh, one of the things that I find is that when you're walking, and if you look at some of the footage very carefully, especially if it's at real time, you'll notice it that the footage actually moves left to right just a little bit. And that, if you're just playing that at normal speed, it looks, it looks off. And that's just from walking and the pole being in your hand and going back and forth. So I think if you, you know, got better at it, if you held it correctly, then it'd be totally fine. But um, it does look a lot better when you do a pan. So if I stand in a location and I just pan over, that looks a lot better than trying to walk with it. Uh, the, other th the other problem with this is that you can only record where you are. So not a drone you can take, you can fly around, you can record yourself. Whereas with this, you can only really record where you are. So you also, you can't go up and down well. So it is on the end of a pole, you do stretch it out and it's harder to tilt and go up and down and have that shot rise than uh, with a drone. You also have to carry around a pole, which- Can be embarrassing. Can be embarrassing. It wasn't too bad, but- uh, Some we, of us were embarrassed. Some of us were embarrassed. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is the GoPro app, it works pretty good, but when you do get it that 20 feet away, sometimes it doesn't respond right away for turning it on and off, and that can be kind of frustrating. Uh, it's also really hard to record yourself. So you need to have someone else there or you're recording someone else because otherwise it's you holding a pole and it just doesn't look very cool. The uh, one big thing, out of all of these things that I would mention, that's probably the most problematic, is that you have to really pay attention to where your GoPro is in the air, uh, even more so than with a drone, because in a drone, with a drone, if you run into a power line, it drops, that's fine. If you run into a power line with your 20-foot pole, it's gonna hurt a little more, <laughs> especially if you catch Quite a power dangerous. line. But uh, that being said, the footage is kind of, it's its pretty unique, it's pretty different. We're able to get some pretty cool shots that we wouldn't have been able to, but let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Would you give it a go? Is it worth your time? I wanna see uh, if you've done any footage, please let us know about it. We love to see your footage and uh, appreciate you checking this out. Thanks for dropping in. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, we love to have you here. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, we're always out traveling around and love to share what's happening with you. Thanks so much. Thanks for stopping in and we will see you next Sunday. You remember, like I remember. And oh, those were the times. Ooh, ooh, those were the ways. So take me back, take me back